Hello friends, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have got introduced to a library matplotlib, right? So let's try using that library and do so many kinds of operations, right? So this video focuses on uh, recollecting back what we have done in our elementary school or PUC, right? So where uh, in physics, we used to uh, write an uh, lab experiment where the objective was to find the vi characteristics of something uh, like a diode or uh, you must have studied how does resistance vary with respect to temperature right so i was to introduce you to those concepts i was trying to look into some website i got this uh, electronics tutorial website where it tells you about the variation of temperature and resistance. Let's try plotting this uh, values and find out how is the relationship that between temperature and resistance. Okay. So in order to do that, I'll just copy these values. Let's see how, how does it work out in pasting these values on Colab. Hopefully it should work fine. Super. So I will edit it uh, as per my requirement later. Okay. So before that, I have to import two things. What are they? One is matplotlib, uh, other one is NumPy. So let's do the import matplotlib dot py plot. I am calling it as plt. Right. Next one is I am importing NumPy as env. So once I do this, I have to now find the relation. So let me uh, reduce this name instead of temperature. I'll call it as temp equal to. Okay. So this is the array that I have to declare now. So I'll have to use np dot array. Okay. What is the format? So format is I have um, curly brace. I mean braces. Then a square braces. Then between the elements, I have to give a comma. Let me edit that. So similarly, I have to do it for resistance as well. So I'm done with. Uh, square braces followed with curly braces. Then similarly, resistance I have to, I will say res is equal to np dot array. Okay, here also same thing. I will have to replace the spaces, empty spaces with commas. Yes, I'm done with that. Now, what should I do? I have to plot this. I have to uh, say what kind of a plot is uh, suitable for this. Okay, if you remember, uh, in your elementary school, you used to take a graph sheet and used to put dots, right? That kind of a graph is actually called as a scatter plot, right? So, I will say plot dot. What is that scatter plot? I will use scatter. Okay, what is that I want to plot? I want to plot temperature versus resistance. All right. So let me show show you that. How do I use that? P E L T dot show. Okay. So this is how I get a graph. All right. So the temperature was on the x-axis, on the y-axis, the resistance values were there, right? So, if you look at this, this is called as scatter plot, right? So, this tells you, by looking at it, I can say now that there is a negative 
it is related okay or it, i can say like this is a characteristics of a thermistor where it is negatively related i mean as the temperature increases the resistance goes on getting dropped it has a negative temperature coefficient right so this is how i have helped you with the understanding the scatter plots okay see you in the next video with the next plot thank you